Hi, I'm Erin with Five Parks Yoga. Thank you so much for joining me for class today. Today's class is going to be a standard vinyasa flow class with some sun salutations and we're gonna lead up to the peak pose of standing head to knee pose, um, Janu Shirsasana. And there are a lot of poses that can lead up to this pose on the floor and in other stretches. So whatever you know, level that you get to is great. We're just kind of moving in that direction and all of the stretches and all of the strengthening postures on the way um, are going, going to be beneficial to you. So um, I'm so glad to be back on film and I'm here in Tamarindo, Costa Rica. It's rainy season and it's a holiday weekend, so there's a little bit of quiet from the construction, but you might hear some construction sounds in the background. <laughs> nothing I can do about it so so here we go so let's start out with some deep breathing so go ahead and come into a nice cross-legged position or any comfortable position where you can have your spine upright reach the crown of your head up toward the ceiling and then just rest your hands down on your knees in whatever position you're in and close your eyes and let's take some deep ujjayi breaths. So let's just start with a cleansing breath. So breathe in through your nose. Nice open mouth exhale. Breathe in through your nose. Gentle constriction to the back of your throat and then just breathe out through your nose. Take another breath like that. As you continue your deep breathing, let's just begin to move the spine. So as you inhale, lengthen up through the crown of your head and let's take some neck rolls. So bring your right ear to your right shoulder, chin to your chest, and then you can come into half neck rolls or full neck rolls for about five rounds. And then when you get to your chest, just pause if you're in full neck rolls and then reverse directions. Otherwise, if you're in half neck rolls, just keep gently rocking your head side to side and just loosening up your neck, releasing your shoulders down away from your ears. And then we'll do one more round here. And then you can come back to neutral. And then if your eyes are closed, just open your eyes and on your next breath in, reach both arms up overhead. And as you breathe out, bring your right hand to your mat and your left hand up and over. I'm not mirroring you right now, so it's gonna be the opposite for you. Just keep your shoulder in line with your hip and your sitting bones grounded to your mat and just reach actively through your fingertips. Just feel the stretch all along the left side of your body. And then as you breathe in, come back to center, reach both arms up overhead and then switch sides. So bring your left hand to, to your mat and reach your right arm up and across and try to keep your shoulder right in line with your hip and your sitting bones grounded so you're just getting a nice stretch along the right side of your body. And then breathe in, bring both arms up overhead. And then we're gonna take a twist. So bring your left arm to your left knee and your right arm out behind. Try to sit up straight, take a deep breath in. And then as you exhale, bring your chin to your shoulder, look out over your shoulder and take one deep belly breath. So expand your belly as you inhale and contract as you exhale. Come back to center as you inhale, reach both arms up overhead, and then bring your right arm, or your right hand to your left knee and your left hand out behind, and then look out. We'll breathe in, lengthen, and then as you exhale, look out over your left shoulder. Deep twist here. And 
And then come back to center, reach both arms up overhead, and then just switch the cross of your legs. And then we're gonna take a chest expansion. So bring your hands behind your back, interlace your hands, press your fists down toward the floor, look up, open your throat, lift your chin, and then as you exhale, just start to hinge forward, bringing your forehead in the direction of the floor. Bring your arms up and over the back of your head. Even if it's just a little bit off your lower back. Just anything to open up those shoulders and then come all the way back up. Release your hands and then make your way to a tabletop position. Position your hands underneath your wrists underneath your shoulders and your knees underneath your hips. So you're in a nice flat tabletop position and let's take some cats and cows. So as you breathe in, drop your belly, lift the tailbone, lift the crown of your head. And as you breathe out, just round your spine, look toward navel center, lift and separate your shoulder blades. And let's do two more of those. So breathe in, just really opening up the spine, opening up the chest and opening up the upper back and breathe out. And just one more round, breathe in. And breathe out. Round. Come back to tabletop position. Position your right hand right underneath your face, lift your left arm up and let's thread the needle. So bring your left arm underneath your right and come onto your left shoulder and your left ear. Keep your hips high, take a deep breath in. Inhale and unwind, so reach your left arm all the way up and release back to tabletop position and we're gonna switch sides. So reach your right arm up, thread the needle. So bring your right arm behind your left, come onto your right shoulder and your right ear. Keep your hips high, rest down here, take a deep breath in. And then as you inhale, unwind, reach up, and then come back to tabletop position and let's make our way to a downward facing dog. So spread your fingers nice and wide, tuck your toes under, lift your hips up, let, release your heels down toward your mat. And when you look back at your feet, make sure that your heels are disappearing behind your toes so they're not like pigeon toed or bowed in. And take a couple of petals of your legs so you can bend your right leg and your left leg. And just kind of pedal back and forth. Just opening up the back of the hamstrings and feeling the strength in your arms, letting your head release and your neck be relaxed. And let's take one more breath here. Release both of your heels down toward your mat. Look toward your hands and then just walk your feet to meet your hands at the front of your mat. Bend your legs a lot and then come into ragdoll. So you're gonna rest your torso on your thighs, take opposite hand to opposite elbow. Again, let your head hang heavy and then maybe rock side to side. And again, you can bend and straighten one leg at a time if that feels good. Or you can just dangle and just let your neck release. So for standing head to knee pose, we're gonna be definitely working the hamstrings a lot. So just opening the hamstrings up throughout our class. So we'll be doing lots of postures to make that happen, just to work up to that pose. All right, so one more breath here. And then come back to center, release your hands down in the direction of your mat. It's okay if they don't reach your mat, you can even rest them on your shins or your thighs. And on your next breath in, take a halfway lift. So flat back, this is monkey pose. Breathe in and as you exhale, come into standing forward fold. So in the direction of straighter legs, if that's possible. So just working the hamstrings. And again, breathe in, halfway lift. And breathe out, forward fold. And let's just do one more with your breath. Ujjayi Pranayama, breathe in. Exhale through your nose, breathe out. Breathe out. 
Okay, so from here, heel toe your feet together so that your big toes are touching. And then on an inhale, you're just gonna sweep your arms off to the side and come all the way up to standing. You're gonna connect the palms of your hands over your head. And then as you exhale, you're gonna bring your hands to heart center. And then as you breathe in, you're gonna make a big circle, bring your arms up overhead, connect the palms of your hands, Ujjayi Pranayama. And let's do one more, breathe in, lift your arms up overhead, connect the palms of your hands, and exhale. On your next breath in, reach your arms up overhead, interlace your fingers, release your index fingers for arrow mudra. So squeeze the palms of your hands together and then bring your biceps by your ears. Tighten up through your quadriceps, the tops of your thighs, and then as you exhale, keep your um, hip and shoulder in line with one another and bend to the right for side moon pose. So try not to collapse through your left shoulder. Keep your core engaged as you hold this pose. Nice side stretch here, good for your core. Nice strong legs, come back to center as you breathe in. As you breathe out, lean to the left, side moon. Keep your shoulder in line with your hip. Just check in with yourself. Try not to collapse through your right shoulder. And then as you breathe in, come back to center. As you exhale, release your hands and then come all the way back to standing forward fold. Hold standing forward fold for one more breath, loosening up those hamstrings. All right, now plant your hands, step back to a high plank pose and just hold your high plank. You can set your knees on the floor if needed or if desired for five and four. Nice slow countdown. Three and two and one. And go ahead and lower all the way down onto your belly. You can shift forward onto your toes. Keep your elbows in. Rest your forehead down on your mat. Take the tops of your feet flat to the floor and as you inhale come up to cobra pose and just lift the crown of your head up and stretch the front of your body use a little arm strength here exhale and again really work with your breath in these repetitive movements. And again, breathe in. Can you hear your breath? And exhale. All right, and from here, tuck your toes under, lift your knees up off the floor, press up to high plank. You can use your knees if you want, and then press back to downward facing dog. And take a nice deep breath in downward facing dog. On your next breath in, lift your right leg up. And then just open your hip and bend your leg. And just stretching the left inner thigh. And then if you want, you can take your right foot and draw a couple circles in both directions, just opening up that ankle. And then level out your hips, straighten out your leg. And let's just do one knee to nose. So round your spine. You can lift your left heel up and then just tuck your right knee in. Tap, come back to three-legged dog, just extend nice and long. And then you're gonna step your right foot forward between your hands. Okay, and this is gonna be our first kind of prep pose. So from here, you're gonna start to extend your right leg forward. This is called extended pyramid pose. So just begin to straighten your right leg. Good stretch for a hamstring and then if you want or can, you can just begin to bring your forehead toward your right knee. Good. 
Good prep posture. Good hamstring stretch. Okay, so on your next breath in, take a halfway lift. So extend your spine long and then return to a low lunge posture. And then as you inhale, lift your right arm up for a low lunge twist. And then release your right leg, or your right hand back down to your mat. And then step back to high plank pose. And this time as you exhale, if you want, you can take a chaturanga. Inhale to upward facing dog. And then exhale back to downward facing dog. Take a deep breath here and downward facing dog. On your next breath in, lift your left leg up. Open your hip and bend your leg, stretching out the right inner thigh, and then you have the option if you wanna take some circles of your foot in one direction, and then switch directions, just stretching out your ankle. And then straighten out your left leg, and then just one time, knee to nose. So bring your left knee toward your nose. You can lift your right heel off the floor little tap here and then come back to three-legged dog nice big stretch up and then step forward to low lunge and then we're gonna come into extended pyramid pose so begin to straighten your left leg a great prep pose for standing head to knee pose so you can begin to bring your forehead toward your left knee And just hold here as you stretch out your left hamstring. You're also compressing your throat. And then on your next breath in, come up to a halfway lift and then go back to low lunge. Keep your right hand on the floor and just lift your left arm up for a twisting low lunge. Then as you exhale, come back to low lunge, step back to high plank, and then lower chaturanga. Upward facing dog, and back to downward facing dog. Take a deep breath here and downward facing dog. And from here, we're gonna take three rounds of sun salutation. So breath to movement, just getting us nice and warm. So as you Breathe in, look forward, come forward. Come into standing forward fold as you breathe out. Breathe into tall mountain. Exhale, standing forward fold. Halfway lift. Chaturanga as you breathe out. Upward facing dog, breathe in. And downward facing dog, breathe out. Breathe in and out. And again, come forward to the front of your mat. Halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Tall mountain, rise up. Forward fold, exhale. Halfway lift, chaturanga, exhale. Upward facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Breathe in. And out. One more round, come to the front of your mat. Halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Raise up, tall mountain. A standing forward fold, exhale. 
halfway lift. And chaturanga, exhale. Inhale to up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe in. And exhale. Your next breath in, lift your right leg up. Nice big step forward to low lunge. Raise up to crescent lunge. Lower your shoulders down away from your ears. Nice strong fingers pointing up toward the sky. And tighten up through your legs. Squeeze your inner thighs together even though they're not touching. Take one more breath in. And as you exhale, come into warrior two. We're gonna hold warrior two for three breaths. Next breath in, come into reverse warrior and just stretch through your right side. And as you exhale, come into extended side angle. You can set your right elbow on your right knee or you can bring your right hand down toward the floor and lift your left arm up. Really active through those left fingertips. Keep your core nice and strong. Nice stretch through your left side. And then inhale, come up to five pointed star. Exhale, come down to prayer squat. So bring the palms of your hands together at your heart center, connect the uh, your thumbs with your chest. Hold here for three, two, and one. Rise up to five-pointed star. Warrior two to the back of your mat. So you're now have your left foot facing forward. As you inhale, reverse warrior, so stretch back. And then exhale, low lunge. Then come all the way back to high plank, chaturanga if you want, or you can just go right back to downward facing dog. And then back to downward facing dog if you did a chaturanga, take a deep breath here. All right, this is your same leg. So lift your right leg up and just take a big step forward. Low lunge, crescent lunge, rise up, breathe in. Exhale, warrior two, breathe out. Inhale, five-pointed star, rise up. Exhale, prayer squat, sink down. Five-pointed star, rise up. And then this warrior two, back to the front of your mat. So your left foot is pointed forward. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, low lunge. Make your way back to downward facing dog. Take a deep breath here. All right, on the other side. So lift your left leg up. Big step forward, low lunge. And we're gonna rise up to crescent lunge, hold here. So lower your shoulders down away from your ears, active through your fingertips, nice and strong through your legs. Imagine that you're squeezing your inner thighs together even though they're not touching. Take another deep breath in. And exhale to warrior two. Hold here for three breaths. Nice soft gaze across your front fingertips. Soft shoulders, but strong legs, strong core. Five pointed star. Rise up, reach up. Exhale, prayer squat. Hold. So just feel your lower body working, thumbs connected to your heart center. And one more breath here. Inhale, 
inhale, five-pointed star. Then exhale, warrior two to the back of your mat. So your right foot is facing forward here. And then just take a reverse warrior here. And low lunge. Nice vinyasa flow here. So step back, high plank, chaturanga, upward dog. And back to downward facing dog. Deep breath here. All right, so lift your right leg up. So this is, or sorry, your left leg up. So this is the same leg. We're going back, just flowing back to the front of our mat. So step forward, low lunge, inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, star. Exhale, squat. Inhale, star. Exhale, warrior two to the front of your mat. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, low lunge. Make your way back to downward facing dog. Chaturanga is an option if you would like it. And downward facing dog. Deep breath in here. All right, now lift your right leg up. Take a big step forward. Just kind of moving forward, working. Inhale to crescent lunge. Working toward this peak pose. So as you exhale, airplane lunge. So hinge forward, squeeze your triceps. Look past your toes. On your next inhale, it's gonna be a big step forward. So you're gonna step onto your right foot and come into standing staff pose. Now in standing staff pose, you can have your leg bent or you can straighten it if you want. Either option is fine. Just working on our balance. So this is gonna be important for our peak pose. And then from here, you can go all the way back to airplane pose. You wanna go back to airplane lunge, that's an option as well. So airplane pose, you'll just keep your left foot off the floor. Nice long spine, nice strong arms, lots of balance involved. And then you're gonna step back to airplane lunge if you're not already there. Inhale to crescent lunge. Exhale, low lunge. Step back, high plank. Chaturanga if you want. Upward facing dog and downward facing dog. Breathe in. You can always take a child's pose here if you need a little break. And then we're gonna move to the other side. So left leg high, big step forward, low lunge. Inhale to crescent. Then we're gonna take airplane crescent lunge. So reach your arms back. You're gonna lean forward over your left leg, look past your toes, squeeze your triceps, active hands. Okay, this is our big step forward. So step onto your left foot, bring your right leg forward for staff pose. So your arms reach high. You can have your leg bent, or if you want, you can straighten it, work that quadricep. All right, and from staff, we're gonna go back to airplane pose. So you can just reach that right leg back. And if you wanna go to airplane lunge, that's an option as well. Hold here, squeeze those triceps. And then if you're not already there, go to airplane lunge. And then rise up, crescent lunge as you breathe in. And then come back to low lunge. And flow back to down dog. Chaturanga optional, off ways. Just depends how vigorous you want your practice to be. So whatever suits you today is perfect for you. All right. So on your next breath in, lift your right leg up. Step forward, low lunge. 
All right, from here, we're gonna step onto our right foot and come into standing splits. So you're just gonna lift your left foot up off the floor. Kind of a bit big movement, but not too difficult. Your leg can be as high as you need it to be. Hold. Really active through the ball of your left foot. We're gonna take three Jiva squats. So bring your left knee behind your right. For three, squat down, squeeze, extend. Two, one, extend. And then this time, bring your left knee behind your right and then sit down. All right, let's take a seated twist here. It's gonna be some active rest. <laughs> So we'll be on the floor for a few poses. Just again, prepping for that final posture. So breathe in, lift your arms up overhead and then take a twist. So bring your left elbow to the outside of your right knee and then just look out over your right shoulder. And then come back to center. Bring your right heel to the floor, and then you're gonna take your hands, wrap them around your foot. You can stay right here if this feels like a big stretch to you, or you can lift your heel up off the floor, or you can straighten your leg. If your leg is in the direction of straight, just try to lower your shoulders, lift your chest, and look past your toes. And hold here. Good prep posture, big hamstring opener. And then from here, we're just gonna lift the foot a little bit closer to the head and then bring your forehead toward your knee. Now bring your elbows in. So this is gonna be similar to what we're doing on our feet in a little bit. Good practice. Okay, lift your forehead up off your knee. Lower your shoulders down away from your ears. And then bring your left foot out, heel to the floor, and then just lift it up so you're in boat pose. So hold here for three. And slow count, two. And one. Go ahead and cross your ankles and make your way back to downward facing dog. All right, take a deep breath here. And guess what, we're gonna do that on the other side. So you kinda know where we're going now. So lift your left leg up, big step forward to low lunge, and you're gonna step onto your left foot for standing split. So lift your right leg up, little pop off that back leg. Bring your right heel a little bit higher. You're looking back toward the back of your mat, so you shouldn't have any tension in your neck at all. And then three Jiva squats. So right knee behind your left, three, and lift, two, standing splits, one, stretch, tuck it behind your left knee and then sit. And we'll take that twist first. So ground your sitting bones, left foot flat to the floor over your right knee, left hand out behind, reach your right arm up, and hook your elbow to the outside of your right knee, look out over your left shoulder. All right, come back to center and then you're just gonna bring your left heel out in front of you, interlace your fingers underneath your left foot and then lift your left heel up off the floor. You can hold it here or you can begin to straighten it. Very similar to what we're gonna be doing on our feet a little bit later, so just envision yourself standing on one foot. Hold here and then option to bring your forehead toward your knee as you lift your left foot a little bit closer to your face. Bring your elbows in and hold. All righty, 
So relax your arms, bring your right foot to meet your left for boat pose. Hold your boat. Alrighty, bring uh, your feet to butterfly pose, Baddha Konasana. Soles of the feet together. You take your hands around your ankles, bring your elbows to your knees, and then just hinge forward. Nice stretch for your low back. This is gonna be important in our peak pose. You have an open low back. Maybe you bring your forehead toward your toes. Release from your forward fold and come back to downward facing dog. Take a breath in. And a big breath out. Shift forward to high plank pose. Lower all the way down onto your belly. Take the tops of your feet flat to the floor. Bring your feet to mat distance apart. Bring your arms off to the side. And then on your inhale, lift everything up off the floor. Hold here for three, two, one. And press back to child's pose, our first in class today. And one of my favorites. So let's take three breaths here. Breathe deep into your belly. Nice ujjayi breaths. You can hear them on your mat. So make sure they're audible and slow and controlled. Now walk your hands up. You're gonna come onto your shins. So you're in a kneeling position. Stack your hips right over your knees. Bring your hands to your low back. Draw your elbows back and in. Lift your chin up off of your chest for camel pose, Ustrasana. And from here, if you want, you can try and reach your heels for a deeper back bend, or you can keep your hands on your low back. Nice big heart opener. Okay. And come all the way back up. And then we're gonna take a heart opener on the other side. It's called rabbit pose. So it's opening the back side of the heart. And it's gonna be important for our final pose. So you're gonna bring your knees and your feet together. Sit your hips on your heels. Bring your hands to your heels. And then you're gonna bring your chin to your chest and lower the crown of your head down onto your mat. Get a nice firm grip on your heels and then lift your hips up. Feel the opening in your upper back. This is gonna be the same action that you'll feel in head to knee pose. Nice and open the upper back. And then slowly lower down. All right, now keep your left foot where it is. You're gonna be, bring your right foot forward and then just kind of roll off to the side so you're in half hero pose. So your heel is exposed. And then you can have your left or your right hand on the floor and ju just reach your left hand toward your right toes and then start to hinge over your right knee. And again, this is a great place to practice if you want to bring your forehead towards your knee, if that's accessible. If it's not accessible, you're just moving in that direction. So you can round your spine. This is gonna be the standing variation of this posture just on the floor.
Alrighty. Come on back up if you're not already there. And then we're gonna take a side bend. So bring your right foot to the right and bring your right hand in the direction of your left knee. You can bring your forearm to the floor if you want and you're just gonna bring your left arm up and over and reach toward your toes. Release from your side bend, bring both legs forward. We're gonna take seated forward fold. Lift your arms up and just reach for both feet or thighs or shins and come forward. Nice hamstring stretch here. Let's take those postures on the other side. So bring your right leg back to half hero pose. Your heel will be exposed. You're not necessarily sitting on it. You can use your left hand for support if you'd like, and then you're gonna hinge over your left leg. And then if you wanna try, you can bring your forehead toward your knee. forward fold and then you're gonna bring that left leg off to the side bring your left hand toward your right knee you can bring your left forearm to the ground and you're just gonna reach up and across with your right hand for a side bend and release from your side bend. All right, let's make our way back to downward facing dog. Pedal out your feet, got some really good stretches in there, got some good practice. And then we'll see where this goes. We'll just do a little flow and come into our balancing posture. So lift your right leg up, step forward to low lunge. Rise up to crescent lunge. Hinge forward to airplane lunge or airplane. And then make your way to staff pose. And come into standing pigeon. Cross your left ankle over your right knee. Squat down, hold here for three. And then come back to staff pose. Okay, so here we go. You're gonna take your hands. If you have a strap, you can use a strap underneath your foot. Otherwise, interlace your hands underneath your left foot. You can hold here, rounding your spine, or you can begin to straighten your left leg. And then option to bring your forehead towards your knee. And then release. Come back to mountain pose. Inhale to tall mountain. And standing forward fold. Halfway lift. Chaturanga. If you want. Or facing dog. And back to downward facing dog. All right. Side two. Let's try this one out. It might be easier or harder for you. Lift your left leg up. Step your left foot forward, you're gonna rise up, crescent lunge, and then come into airplane lunge or airplane. We've been here before, so take your pick. Hold here, establishing balance on that left foot, and then you're gonna make your way to staff pose. So you can have your leg bent or straight, and then come into standing pigeon pose. So cross your right ankle over your left knee, squat down. And then let's try it, standing head to foot. So, or head to knee, sorry. 
So take your foot in your hands. You can take a strap if you'd like. You can release your fingers. You can hold here, or you can begin to straighten your leg. Maybe take your forehead towards your knee. <laughs> or not. And then release mountain pose. And tall mountain. And forward fold. Halfway lift. And chaturanga. Upward facing dog and downward facing dog. Bravo. Take one more breath here. All right, cross your ankles over. Make your way down onto your back. We're just gonna cool down. So bend your legs, bring your heels toward your hips. Bring your arms alongside your body. Let's take three rolling bridges. So press into your heels as you breathe in, lift your hips up. As you breathe out, lower one vertebra at a time. Breathe in. And lift and breathe out and release. Breathe in and out. All right, we haven't done any pigeons yet, so we need to take a hip stretch. So let's cross right ankle over left knee. Well, we did a standing pigeon, but let's do a reclined pigeon. So bring your left foot up off the floor. You can hold on to your thigh or your shin. Nice tight squeeze here. Flex both feet back toward your knees. All right, Rela or release your left foot back down toward your mat and release your right foot to the left. Bring your arms into goalpost or T and then bring your right or your head to the right. Nice twist here. back to center. Cross your left ankle over your right knee. Lift your right foot up off the floor and then hold on to your thigh or your shin. For reclined pigeon pose, flex both feet back toward both knees. If you need more of a stretch, just squeeze your knee a little bit tighter. And then release your right foot to the floor. Bring your left foot to the right. So you're coming into a twist. You can bring your arms to goal post or capital T and bring your uh, head to the left. So in the oppo opposite direction of your knees. back to center. Happy baby. Hold on to your thighs, shins, toes, feet, and then just rock side to side. You can even bend and straighten one leg at a time for your inner thighs. Hug your knees into your chest. Make your way to Shavasana. So extend your legs long. Extend your arms long. Put <coughs> your palms <coughs> face up. Toes fall open. Take a deep breath in. Big exhale. Come back to the natural rhythm of your breath.
please enjoy your Shavasana as long as you have time for. Thank you so much for joining me for class today. Today, as you go forward, may you have peace in your thoughts, peace in your words, peace in your heart. From my heart to yours. Namaste.